What's up, everybody? Hey, guess what? We are inside Apple Park. Look at these beautiful, lovely people. I had to get the team back together because we had such a great time last time. So on my right, Miss Crystal Laura. Hello. Hello. On my left, Sherilyn Lowe. Hello. And over there, Judner Aura. There you go. I mean, that's weird for me, actually, to say your full name. I'm used you know, to saying your average name. I was like, number. does he know my last name? And <laughs> you did it. He did know. <laughs> okay. <I'm a> <laughs> so we're a crew of people that talk tech or around tech and love tech, and obviously we're here for Apple's Wonderless event, and I just love how we can kind of just bounce off each other and throw things around. So I'm going to start with this and throw it out to you all. The thing, like there's a lot of things and features announced here. It could be a feature. It could be an actual product. The thing that right now as we sit here stood out the most to you from the keynote because we assume everyone that's watching pretty much knows the news we're not going to go break down everything i'm going to start with this lovely gentleman in the corner the thing okay, okay. yeah that's right. <laughs> you know i feel like everybody loves USB-C. not to knock on whoever says it but the action button man mm. Mm. that's mm -hmm. my thing right mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. i'm loving it it's what i've been waiting for for a long time really i have yeah it's it adds so much functionality. It change, like it makes the phone even more personal when you have a direct button to do exactly what you want it to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I agree. But I mean, okay, so my top two are gonna be action button or now that you've said action button, I'm gonna go with my answer, which is double tap in that I would double tap that because well, I am already <laughs> double tapping that I am too so I want to like clarify though because a lot of people I have spoken to after all our hands-on videos went up and the announcement went live people keep saying this is already doable through yes. assistive touch on the mm -hmm. Apple watch and I'm like assistive touch has been there since 2021 and y'all are discovering it now because you mm -hmm. just saw Apple announce double tap which is a brand new feature that builds on assistive touch I've asked a few Apple executives about this assistive touch is an accessibility feature you have to go in and enable double tap is on by default and it, they kind of work in different ways so i'm sure we can dig into this a little deeper uh later on but double tap for me though stands out in part because it's i think one of a few things that apple announced that will make watch os just so much better than competing smartwatch systems but also it's a piece of the giant apple puzzle i think mm -hmm. that is starting to form where we're starting to see what apple's vision to use that word is going to be for the next 10 years i think if you think about the vision pro gestures that people have been talking about and you talk about double tap we're starting to see kind of where apple's headed it all makes sense it all kind yeah, of starting to make connecting. sense right there's there's a lot of i think there's a lot of little nuggets that's one of them that they dropped yeah um we're gonna dive into that second i just do want to hear what crystals you guys took all the good out. ones though yeah, so baby. i'm like what's left for me type c Vegan leather accessories. Oh. I'm gonna say because I was really excited, and I cloud storage. <laughs> I cloud no. storage very oh. key as well. Yeah, yeah. I cloud storage That's is huge. pretty groundbreaking for me. Like I'm, I was thinking about it. I was like, I'm, I'm nearing my end. <laughs> What's gonna happen after this? The four terabytes. That's but. dark. Honest, honestly, I'm surprised. I this is why I brought you on. Vegan leather straps was not on my uh, expected. Yeah, your bingo I card. Yeah. It wasn't on my bingo card. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to try and come up with something new. I'm going to say double tap. Mm -hmm. I think this significantly changes how we're going to. It's subtle, but it arguably, I do love the action button, but if I had to lean right now, okay, right now, mm -hmm. I'm leaning towards uh, double tap just because that's, that's an everyday, all day thing. Now, the action button is as well. Mm -hmm. I think for me, what I want to see from the action button is I think that Apple, let's, like kind of slow pitched us with okay you can do one thing with the action button right you can do a long mm -hmm. hold ring or a press and then you can choose one of these nine functions i really hope that we see a double tap to mm -hmm. add another function mm -hmm. and a triple tap we don't need to make it too complex but mm -hmm. let's really take this to okay that's ultimate customization where i can do three or four of those things that are options and now really like do a lot of amazing things so i do love it mm -hmm. um but double tap it you know, it's one of those things that feels very natural, instinctual. It is a behavior thing that Apple is getting us comfortable with to this larger puzzle or, like you say, to Vision Pro. Because once people are getting comfortable with this, then they're, okay, this is part of my learned behavior, which is the hardest thing to do in, mm -hmm. in tech, how we've seen companies, you know, let's say 3D Touch. Mm -hmm. People did it. That was, I loved 3D Touch, but no one used it. Mm -hmm. Enough. I never used I it. Love, did you love it? I loved it. I loved I used it. it all the time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. My mama never used it, mm -hmm. right? I loved it. And when it went away, 
it was that haptic pop just felt so good. Mm -hmm. And so that was a learned be that was a behavior that if everyone adopted and was using a lot, I think it would have been here today still. Well, right. But it didn't necessarily. Then do you think that maybe we're hype about double tap in a way that other people aren't going to be because we're such nerds? I, I think this is a usable thing. I actually feel like people are really excited for it. Oh good, okay. Like I think like the general like consensus is just like whoa that's just like mind blowing the way that it works yeah but it's crazy i just hope that we get to the point where it does feel like natural as yeah. natural as scrolling but yeah yeah for me as like a, a a smartwatch and wearables person for the longest time now i'm like I, I i really think that in addition to double tap s9 sip in the watch series 9 and watch ultra 2 especially with on device siri and siri health requests it's again i think going to push Apple that much further in that smartwatch ways because right now if you look at Pixel you look at Samsung nobody does voice requests uh, or voice assistant integration as deeply as Apple would with on device Siri mm -hmm. and also I've been really really annoyed at Siri on my watch right because it's so <laughs> slow so now I can't wait to test the, the series 9 and see how much faster that should be and it will be and that's another like hands-free interaction method that we're thinking about with all these devices and I think that that's the future I think we're seeing Apple move towards hands-free screen free sort of freedom from your phone but still interacting with all your your loved ones and, and your contacts or your apps and all of that stuff so that to me is a theme of 2023 for apple really hey jedner you know you you le led with action button you know it's really interesting right now we're all t we're actually talking about everything but the mm. iphone right but mm. the, the iphone is the biggest you know product at least the flagship product during this time of the season um Anything else that kind of stood out for you with the iPhone that, that you liked? Well, something that stood out to me was actually super subtle, mm. but the fact that the body of the pros are smaller, but we still could keep the same screen size. Yeah. I think that's really interesting as well as like the rounded edges. While the rounded edges don't sound um, like, like an amazing change, I think a lot of our pinkies can agree that <laughs> it'll be very welcomed if you don't use a case. Yeah. Because sometimes when you're not using a case and it's resting on your pinky, those edges, they dig in after mm. a while. Yeah. And now having that smoother edge, I think it's going to just overall make the phone a lot more comfortable to use. In I want to see what it looks like down the line too, because I used my phone case, well, I used this last phone caseless, and mm -hmm. those edges got really scuffed up for me. Like, they don't look great right now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm curious to see like over the time, like if it does fall, like what does it look like? The, with the titanium finish. Yeah, with right? the titanium, yeah. I'm but curious about that as well. We'll see. I mean, the body of my Ultra looks pretty pristine, so. It's held up well, right? It's held up very well. So some of, uh, you know, if for people that go back to the old school titanium power book days, they would chip over time. Now this mm -hmm. is a different material, but I, I have some people that have literally like PTSD, mm -hmm. old school, when they hear the word titanium, mm -hmm. they want to love it, but they're like, how, how is this actually going to hold up, right? Apple's combining this with an aluminum substrate to help it, you know, be stronger. We, again, we don't know, no. I do, you know, people that comment and what, when we see like, oh, this thing feels lighter, it's nicer to hold in hand, they're like, it looks exactly the mm -hmm. same, right? Mm -hmm. How many times have uh, you guys seen or heard that conversation? And so much. I, and like, <laughs> I guarantee you, those same people are the ones that are going to be like, oh, yeah, it feels so different in the hand. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. This It's 19 grams lighter. You hear a number, but when you feel it, it feels different. I mean, how did it feel for you when you picked it up? It felt, well, for me, like, I've been using the smaller Pro, and this year is, like, the year I'm like, I might go Pro Max, mm. and now I think I'm even more enticed, because it does yeah. feel different. Yeah. Like, I did feel, I held somebody else's Pro Max, and I was like, okay, like, there is a difference here, mm -hmm. enough for me to say, you know what, time to go back to the bigger phone. Ooh, <laughs> so, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah. The Pro Max feels less like a weapon that'll like kill you <laughs> on your face if you drop it, right? And 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 it's like like you said, the contoured contoured edges make a difference. Uh, less sharp, less heavy overall. I still think I'm gonna keep the Pro because like the 6.7 inch screen is a little just too big for me. But the reason for me, I would be tempted to to switch to the Pro Max is that 5x optical. Yeah, that's that's you know, as someone 
when you how many of you go to sporting events or concerts no but i mm-hmm. shoot deer from a distance not well c- camera shoot deer from a distance <laughs> jesus uh, i was gonna say what no my god police, police. <laughs> to, to, to our to our hunting her viewers who are hunters there's nothing wrong with that uh, right, I mean, right. like to each their own but right. shooting their own with the sure. i personally photograph oh god that was a good better word to use deer from a distance uh because ticks right uh so 5x is a safe mm. distance to do that from <laughs> yeah I, from sporting events and con- i i've always look i went to a lafc uh versus messi game which was awesome and i brought the iphone and i'd be the first i can say this in this building without feeling like i'm gonna get attacked i felt like dude I need a better optical zoom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I wasn't the reason. The reason why I didn't bring a Galaxy product is, you know, is I had my iPhone on me. So the fact that we even get a little more, I know it's not on the same level, but five X mm-hmm. is so much better from a composition yeah. standpoint as three X. And I wish I had it a month like, ago for Taylor Swift. You, you, as, right, right. Yeah, I was gonna say all these people <laughs> in the Beyonce. Beyonce, exactly. I'm jealous. Yeah. Whoever I was went, so mad. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it goes all the way to what twenty five times. Twenty five oh. digital. Yeah. Twenty five so, times digital. That's far more than you know being limited to ten. You don't you you don't need to take space shots every day of the moon. You don't. <laughs> Is that something that you're missing out? Yeah, I try to save that for once a year or so. <laughs> Special occasions. <Yeah. laughs> um, also, when we talk about the iPhone, how about this? Let's kind of flip it a little. Uh, anything that maybe was. I don't want to say underwhelming, but maybe a feature like eh, that's all right. I may not really use that that much. That maybe just didn't hit. Um, as hard as maybe you thought it would. Hmm. I know we well, you got to ponder that. One. Yeah, yeah. You know, or I mean, I, I have a thought on something that I don't know if I can say until like my review, whenever that oh, is happening, can oh. go up. Okay, you know so I mean? something that you're feeling right something now. Something I'm feeling. Can you at least give us a hint, like you know? It has like, to do with the fact that I think I need to eat my words when it comes to how big of a change USB C might be. Mm, mm, um, mm. The the convenience I think of USB C is great. I think I may have overhyped it for myself a little bit in how much convenience it might bring to my life. It's still, in my mind, an opinion, uh, an improvement, but maybe not to the scale that I was hoping for. It's, yeah. I have a thought on that. Yeah. I, I thought it was pretty funny. Like, everyone was mentioning USB-C. That's, right. you know, those were the headlines. It got right. the biggest reaction during the keynote, if you remember, right? You yeah. heard all the cheers. It was of course. USB-C cheers. That and iCloud. Yeah, that and <laughs> iCloud. Yeah, I would say. <laughs> but I, me personally... I've never, I didn't care. I, I, I'm the kind of person, I, I'll have a million cables in my backpack. I, I, I pack way too much. So the, the, the cable thing wasn't the draw for me. I didn't really care. I carry a ton of cables anyway. I might be, you know, odd one out, you know, with that kind of statement. But I don't see, like, right now the real benefit aside from saying I can charge all my devices with one cable now. It, chances are I'm going to be charging multiple devices at once or something. I'm going to have more than one cable on me anyway. That was literally the point I was thinking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, So exactly. I'm not going to run around with just a single USB cable mm-hmm. in case something else dies. I'm going to need exactly. to charge more than one. So for me, I thought it was, I, I, I even tweeted, I was like, it'd be kind of funny if Apple didn't drop it. <laughs> and it was just lightning again. It'd be kind of funny, but you know, that's just a trouble in me a little bit. But I don't know. I'm kind of with you. I'm I with don't, you. I don't know if it's like as like, I get the accessories, faster data transfer speeds, sure, for like the pro anyway, but mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Not, I feel like for like the everyday, like the not like crazy, like techies will appreciate it more just because is it'll be nice to have like maybe you have that cable laying around already. You don't have to buy another cable, and buying cables is annoying, right? Like you don't want to buy more. But I, yeah, I was definitely hyped about it, and I think I still am a little bit. <laughs> I'm like, for USB-C? I, I am Steph excited Downers for it. Over here. <laughs> Sorry. I Sorry. want to minimize my USB-C. You later. Grumpy guys. corner. Yeah. It's I right. was one of the ones I was like, oh, I'm most excited for USB-C, even as you know, I know it's like the joke and what everybody knew was coming, but yeah. I, I like that. I, I'm 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 with you guys from the perspective of how excited I was. It's like it, it's more practical. I do like the fact that you know, we'll, with iOS 17, it appears maybe you know, I'll have to test over time that AirDrop is going mm. to be more consistent. But with large files that I'd ever try to AirDrop, I'm talking about just like a five to ten minute file. It it would cancel out a lot of time. So maybe that is one thing for my workflow that helps. But I thought what was interesting is you know. Many of us, I'm assuming, went through the demos that they showed us with the use of USB-C for a professional photographer and for capturing video. And that was kind of fascinating to see, you know, this 
this phone, I know they are always having a pro phone, but I feel like this year they're leaning more into the pro with shooting log on on, yes. on the cameras, mm -hmm. um, you know, being able to really instantly use this as in a photo studio situation where it didn't seem like it was a set piece that they showed us that was fake. I, I've seen that set piece a billion times and seen someone using their phone and the versatility of how you can maybe get into shots. I That is something that's a real tool. Now, it may not be a real tool for us on the daily, but they're definitely trying to target a different tier of creator with this iPhone Pro. I don't know if it's going to catch as much, but you know, you always put out you put out things and you let the universe decide if they're going to use it or not. I don't know if they're going to. You know, I I have creator friends who sometimes feel fine going to capture content with their iPhone. Yes. Mm -hmm. They yeah. just go out there and they're just like, oh, I didn't need to bring a camera. I got my iPhone. No one's going to tell once I upload it. Mm -hmm. I will say I and I also like you have creator friends and, and one of them reached out and was like, uh, I'm an unenthused. I'm unimpressed. I'm underwhelmed because like some of the biggest changes come to people who uh, offload onto desktop for for a post mm. workflow, right? And and the actual shooting itself, they're saying the 15 Pro Max doesn't bring a lot of changes. They're more concerned about like whether the different like seven zoom options are available in video recording as well. But other than that, they're like, eh. I I also think that Apple has been positioning the iPhone as a video or filmmaker sort of tool mm -hmm. for a, very, a long sure. time now. We're starting mm -hmm. to see even more leaning into that with the Pro Max. I think more I, what, Brian, you're saying is I think the point now is that the Pro Max is something we can't really see as targeted at, like, the average user anymore. Mm -hmm. Rather than, like, oh, it's, like, your phone, but also, like, if you want to do all these things with it, great. But now it's really, like, targeting the burgeoning or the growing market of creators. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's standing by its actual name. <laughs> that it's A17 the Pro. Pro. Remember back in the day Max. it would be, like, oh, the – you know, when we would kind of joke, like, what really makes this that pro? Remember, though, yeah. there were many years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm, you know, they've obviously continued to push that. But there's a lot of things on this phone specifically that does make it feel, and even from us as content creator perspective, a little more pro. Like, I would not, there's some people that are always going to buy the pro. And actually, that name brings a little bit of status of, like, you have the pro phone, whether you're someone who uses all the features or not. But, um do we do we feel like the gap between the non-pro model and the pro model has been narrowed a little bit this year though? I think so. Right? Like I think the 14 in, in a way is the big might be arguably the biggest winner of just getting the 48 megapixel camera for a general consumer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And with the portrait mode features. Uh, that, that one I'm excited about. Yeah. Oh, that is, that is You know what? <laughs> take back the action button. <laughs> <laughs> it's those, it's that yes. portrait mode actually. Yes. No, that's actually I actually I mentioned this well, it's going to be in my video that's still being edited, <laughs> but I'll mention it here. I was really excited for that because I just did a West of my iPhone, and one of my most used apps is Focus, which I don't know if you guys have messed with Focus. Mm -hmm. It uses a depth data from the cameras to like create any like portrait looking shot, mm -hmm. and you can, it's basically the same thing. Mm -hmm. And now it's like embedded in the camera, and yeah. it's so much nicer to not have to like you know use a third party app. And it's actually legit something that I use all the time. So. I'm really excited. so excited to see better portraits, hopefully, mm -hmm, from Apple, mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. I've been struggling so far with portrait mode on iPhones, especially as someone who only recently made the switch from like a Pixel main phone mm -hmm. over to where like with not to like call out a competitor here, but like Google's portrait photography has mm -hmm. been so yeah. good for so long. But it's looking like with the 15s, there might be that improvement with the new like rich depth map or something like mm -hmm. that. Um, can I do a quick nerd shout out though? You can you can shout out whatever you want. <laughs> it better not be too shouty out. Otherwise, you want to come back? It's a little bit too nerdy. I okay. feel like. Okay, just go. I'm really hyped that the A17 Pro chip is a three nanometer chip. Oh yeah, oh, I thought you were gonna when you said shout out. I thought you were gonna shout out like someone. shout out the A17. Oh shout out right. A17 yeah, Pro. It's, it's, are you kidding me? Three nanometers? That's insane. <laughs> what? I was like whoa, and then it just sped right by, and I was like, can we pause to appreciate? Give it a moment. You know what's interesting? Interesting about that, I think part of why they they did show love talking about like you know the GPU yeah. and the design, yes. but in a way, I think we've been hammered by Apple's silicon prowess for the past three mm. three to four keynotes that people have kind of, even though yes three nanometers a big it's the first one ever ever on, ever a smartphone. on any smartphone right, but I think that the narrative is like people now know like Apple silicon just destroys so whatever yeah. they tell us 
we already know they don't have to tell us that story as much anymore. They can right, give yeah. us some of the nuggets, but they've won that kind of narrative in the minds of mm-hmm. consumers and even the tech sphere. Like, yo, Apple Silicon is pretty beast. And the story that they seem to focus on this time around was a hardware uh, accelerated ray tracing, which yeah. also looks really. And the fact that you can play console level games that, on iPhone now. That's what got me. I was like, whoa. Like, Apple has been touting that this is a can give you console level gaming performance for so long, <laughs> and now console games are getting on there. So actual, it's, con- yeah, it's it's like happening for them. I'm pretty sure all of you guys are gamers, like gamers. I'm not. Gamers. You're not. I'm just excited for it. Just, that's same with me. Like I'm not even like a big gamer. I saw that. I'm like, you know what? I kind of want to play Resident Evil. Right. Oh, I, I want to go into it right away. No, I, mean, I play really Vampire Survivor. That's as much okay. of a gamer okay. I am. Yeah. Did I you... play Hello Kitty's Adventure. <laughs> that that one's that's a hot hey, game. Did you check that out? That was actually Dude, it's, really. It's one of the top games. It. It's one of the top games. I in the mobile love it. Like, it it's just like Animal Crossing. Yes. I love it. Hell yes. The the thing about the gaming that also impressed me. They made it clear when we asked, oh, is this you know a compressed version? They said these are the actual raw same exact files resources that are from a pc and you're looking at on your phone you're like and you can tell like even the fidelity on that Mm -hmm. screen Mm -hmm. there was texture in this guy's skin um Mm -hmm. you know the detail in the rocks and so they're giving us they're giving developers the tools they've obviously invested even in the mac right with new shader tools you talk about ray tracing other than acquiring a triple A game studio that they bring in house, they're trying they're saying, All right, we have you now. Either come and let's see what happens. And join with the largest mo- one of the largest mobile platforms where you can make money here mm-hmm. with an mm-hmm. install base of hundreds of millions of phones. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see where this goes, let's say, you know, in two it's gonna take a little time, but let's say two years from now. Where are we gonna be with gaming on the Mac and uh, iPhone? It's gonna be interesting to see. Cause I want to, if they can take direct PC resources, uh, or sorry, files, then when will we get a game, a launch title at the same time yeah. that we see it on consoles or PCs? That's going to be a moment for that we just haven't seen on the Mac or, or an Apple iPhone. Yeah. I mean, I think that this is going to, like, with all the interest in handheld gaming consoles right now, yeah, that, yeah. like, Apple really understands where people's minds are at, and it's, it's pushing the space. And, like, as someone, again, like I said, I'm a vampire survivor expert, um, <laughs> I have been like, let's get me a controller so I can play vampires or really crush these zombies, right? And then, like, <laughs> I, I I get addicted. I sit on my couch, and that's all I want to mm-hmm. do now. And I don't have time to go look for an ROG ally or, like, a INA or whatever. N- none of them feel that great. I am more like I want to play on my iPhone a lot. I can't. I. I. I I'm concerned about battery life, right? Like I just, oh, drain my phone. Uh, yeah, yeah. Battery life. It's gonna kick your butt either way if you're gaming on it. I know. You know yeah. You know. Did we hear much about battery on. life with like the new models? It's basically said same. It's same. Yeah. More yeah. features, same battery. I want to know right? your guys' experience, like with pros. Like, how's been your battery life this past year? And like, are you worried about that being mm-hmm. the same? <laughs> because I that was a big concern for me. Like, I definitely like my battery did not make it through any day. Agreed. So my 14 Pro, not the Pro Max, uh, not lasting all day and starting to run hot weirdly, actually. So time to get the Pro Max because I, th- I think the Max models get a lot longer battery life. That is yeah. a big reason. A big reason. Yeah. You're, sure. you're a Max yeah. guy, I think, for as long as I've known, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Always. This year was a little rougher than the year before. Mm-hmm. 13 Pro Max was insane. Mm-hmm. Like that was all day. Um, 14 Pro, it was fine, but... I think 13 Pro Max kind of blew everyone away Mm -hmm. and set this, like, what felt like it was going to be a new standard. And to kind of creep away from that, I think, hurt a lot of folks. They weren't really happy about it. I mean, I blame always on display. I also blame uh, Dynamic. It's like a lot of these new features that, Mm -hmm. yes, Apple will say the battery life is the same. But I think in practicality, when you talk, to, I'm not even talking about battery health. I'm just saying battery life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It It does feel, anecdotally, from multiple people here that it wasn't as strong as maybe its previous models it wasn't bad Mm -hmm. but it just wasn't as strong right right. yeah yeah i totally felt that and that battery health percentage like i've seen that dip (laughs) like pretty consistently so i'm just hoping well it's one of those things like we're in the beginning so we'll see this year but yeah again i think with 3nm we're gonna see battery gains Mm -hmm. but how much i don't know yeah Yeah. the other thing is when we talk about that whole battery health um, kind of dialogue that was happening. I know that everyone's like, oh, mine mine is now at like 95 or 90. And the thing is that it really does depend to your question. It depends on how you use your phone, totally. right? Mm-hmm. So even though we may say this is our experience, other people use it a lot more. And so I always felt sometimes when people jump on this trend of like someone says, oh, 
battery health is bad, then everyone throws out their battery health percentage. I'm like, hold on. I'd like to see your battery health percentage the past five years to at least give me an idea where mm -hmm. you actually are instead of like, oh my gosh, I'm at 95. I have a friend who legitimately knows he's a crazy power <laughs> user, uses as a modem all the time. His battery health's at 81. Mm. But it's always that low because of how crazy he uses his phone. Right. He's not right. screaming like, my battery life is bad when everyone's kind of like, let me, yeah. <laughs> show me, show me your battery health. I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> right? So, um, you know, the, the dialogue around the battery life and battery health, I think, more is it's it's hard to quantify all the time right it's totally like how we how use, use it, it. right mm -hmm. for sure so yeah you know the other thing i want to talk about that you were hinting at and kind of expanding about is apple showing us nuggets of the future at this keynote okay um bef you know i have my thoughts but i'm just curious if you guys have thought about what are things that you saw that you felt like hmm this is this is giving me a hint of where we're going you know obviously apple vision pro yeah. 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 Spatial video. Like, mm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I feel like that's that Apple Vision Pro is the thing that's kind of hanging on top. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing all the other products kind of make features or make their way to just creating this ecosystem that makes sense with the Vision Pro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we're seeing spatial video, mm -hmm. double tap. I'm sure something on the Mac. Well, I mean, you can use your Mac as another monitor with the Vision Pro. There's going to be all of these things, yeah. all the synergy between all the products on in their ecosystem, mm -hmm. AirPods even. There's there's a lot of things where each Apple product that you use every day is going to play some part with that Vision Pro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you guys feel this time? Like, or, Well, I remember you <laughs> not being super sold on it. You're like, he was, well, he was definitely getting it. And you're you and I were just it. like on the fringe. We're like, oh. no, I'm getting it. Oh, you're getting it. Like, <laughs> no, no, but, but we were saying, we were saying, remember that the, at the time the conversation was if we did not cover tech, okay, yeah, yeah. would we get that, it? Right? That's true. That's true. Right. So, yes. Yeah, let course. me not quote. My, I probably did say that. <laughs> I'm just saying, I, I, I watched the videos. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I watched the videos. <laughs> no, I know. I'm just kidding. I know. But, but um, yeah, as, as a consumer consumer, we're, where are you at right now after, you know, it's been, what, six months later? Yeah. And I think we're even more, just like you said, Jenner, like, mm -hmm. we're even more sold. Just seeing it all pieced together, I think it's all making more sense. And we're like, okay, you know what? Maybe maybe it is, like, something that, like, Gen 1 people are going to want to experience because mm -hmm. it's just so different from any, everything that's out there. But I still wouldn't buy it. I still think it's way too expensive. I will start. I will say that it's starting to sound like the Vision Pro is going to be this beautiful, expensive, gilded cage <laughs> within which you will have to own a lot of Apple devices to really enjoy the full immersive experience. And that's not a problem. If you like being in a cage, you can be in a cage. Like sometimes they're air conditioned and they're nice. <laughs> um, but not everyone outside of the cage is going to see it the same way. And I think that that's, that's interesting. I want to see how open Vision Pro is going to be, whether it will play nice with non the non Apple universe. <laughs> I feel like we're seeing like MCU DC, and we know who's MCU in this game, right? Like, uh, well, MCU has dipped a lot. Let's just, I'm sorry. I, oh, I'm just gonna throw it true. out there. I'm just gonna throw it out Fair. there. Things change. Fair. Um, yeah. you know, they did talk about it briefly, and you dropped it. And I want to talk about, you know, we even I remember when we talked about it in this panel the last time about the Apple Vision Pro. We were saying, look, Apple knows the roadmap, and I did not. I was hoping to. But I was not expecting to see an actual spatial video announcement yeah. here. Really? Like, meaning I felt like it might have been a little soon, but I was excited about it, like happy at the same time. They kind of said it really quickly because I'm like, whoa, 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 you guys, we experienced spatial video. That thing was mind blowing. Yeah. And it's your home videos in 3D. I also noticed in the demo that they showed here, the spatial video that's recorded directly by the Apple Vision Pro, we talked about it's kind of like a square. Mm -hmm. The spatial video that they showed recorded by the iPhone was a landscape, landscape. full video. So that's going to make a difference. Uh, spatial audio, if depending on how it's integrated, is going to make a difference. But that immersion, I was like, ooh, and now I can, this is my little Apple Vision Pro content thing. Mm -hmm. You can save it, right? Save these files. They talked about how you can share with others. But guess the biggest indication of, like, okay, they're leaning into this who right now out of most users really needs 17 terabytes of storage in the cloud that's vision pro stuff. yeah that's throwing all those spatial videos up to the cloud 17 so, so wasn't it those 12, 12 and 17 oh. were there two tiers oh it's six and 12. oh six and 12 was it sorry, sorry. Okay, no no I, I was like is something is I'm there's been a lot of numbers thrown out yeah, this yeah, week. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah okay sorry about that no, no, six, no, no, no. six and 12 so you're like 17 i'm like my bad i was like that's the one i need <laughs> <laughs> they're coming don't let them know you want it yeah yeah but like 12 terabytes like up in the cloud that's to throw that stuff that we're taking yeah. on our phones and then feed it down to vision pro Definitely. yeah 
I, mean, I, I feel like I saw that. I don't mean to cut you off. I feel like I saw it coming because, I mean, honestly, Vision Pro is going to be something where you want to consume media. I don't think you want to create media with uh -huh. it. I don't think people are going to want to throw it on at the birthday party. And start like taking they video. Showed. Yeah, <laughs> that's not going to be it. So it makes sense that it's on the iPhone now, just something we already have in our pocket, something we're used to using the cameras on. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it makes sense and it had to be done. Yeah, yeah. No, my, the thing I was going to say was I just found it funny during the keynote where they were like, yeah, you can create these spatial videos and you can share them with anyone who has Vision Pro. <laughs> like, the, the timing of the way they said it was hilarious. And also, they also said in the same sort of section that Vision Pro won't be available until early next year, which they are on track to, but like, yeah, basically for now, you're going to shoot spatial video and send them to no one until you get Vision Pros out to a fair amount of people, which is going to take at least a year in my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also maybe when the Vision comes out, rather than the Vision Pro, uh, I wonder how that would translate too. So we'll see. I mean, I'm okay. I man, I really wish. Whatever. I just got married a few months ago. I wish I could have taken uh, yeah. some spatial mm. video from that, just to see, just to be like, oh, you know, have someone just even have one and just be, hey, yeah. I just want you to take spatial video the whole day. Yeah. And right, just right, have right, this, right. and just who knows? It's gonna be the new thing who, for right, everything. Right? Yeah. I mean, they're just giving you that buffer, that buffer window right yeah. now to there always has to capture a bunch of memories. Then when you get your Vision Pro, you're like, oh man, this is super cool. That's what they want, right? And that's what they're gonna want us like how to, how we want to react to it. So. Brian, you just have to get like a vow renewal thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, that was a, that was a one that was a one time. <laughs> deal. I'll tell you right now, that was a one time just deal. Do it again. Just celebrate it again. You, you know? don't got two wedding money. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> you got Vision Pro money, but you don't have two wedding money. How? Oh, no. no that, yeah, wedding money, Vision Pro money. There's a lot of Vision Pros that go into a wedding. Let me tell you. That's fair a, enough. Fair enough. Fair, fair. <laughs> um, any? Did you guys get to go and talk about the AirPods Pro two with USB C? Did you guys get it? Any of you sat, sat in on that at all? I think you did, right? We yeah, we did. And um, the reason why I was bringing it up because it was really interesting. Um, I don't know how much you've read about it, but we talk about the integration with Apple Vision Pro, mm. and so. You know, and it was put out in a press release. It wasn't mentioned in the keynote at all. So the Apple Vision Pro, for people that are watching this for the first time, because I don't think everyone's really talking about it yet, mm -hmm. um, the Apple Vision Pro was announced to include the H2 chip, right? This is the chip that is like the brains and processing inside of AirPods Pro. But the new AirPods Pro 2 with USB-C that they announced today, although looks the same, there's hardware and architecture inside that is different that allows for lossless audio when pairing with this with new USB-C MagSafe, I'm oh, sorry, yeah, new AirPods Pro 2 USB-C with Vision Pro, not the current Lightning ones that still have an H2 chip. They're still calling it AirPods second generation USB-C, but they are actually different. Yeah. I also learned something, I don't know how like, brand new is this, but apparently with AirPods, you can use USB-C to charge them with your iPhone Correct. as well. So I don't know, again, how new new this is as a feature but i was like whoa okay yeah, cool that's exciting for sure i mean for apple users that's great like reverse wireless I would charging totally, yeah. uh, reverse charging not wireless in this case it's, it's nice right yeah correct but we you know i tried to explain that eloquently but it actually took us by surprise jen was in my in yeah. my group with it it was is it's interesting to hear the kind of changes that are happening to airpods but they're we're still looking at it as a second gen product yeah um but it just feels it feels like it's more it does you know i mean it's also i mean this is a subtle thing it's also dust resistant which it wasn't before mm -hmm. it had like splash <laughs> resistance but not dust resistant so it's a small thing but you feel like okay it and also i need to be honest and even most people unless you have a really keen ear most people if you do a blind test on what's lossless audio and what's not <laughs> most, people, most people the general consumer won't even be able to tell Right. It is an aspirational, like, you know, okay, high fidelity, high quality. It's good to know. But, you know, most of Apple's users, when we talk about that general user, probably won't be able to mm -hmm. tell. So maybe it doesn't, maybe it doesn't matter as much. Are I, you guys I, yeah, everyday AirPods users? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Same. yeah. Well, and to that point, right, like the dust resistance thing, it always shows up on a lot of device, like spec sheets. And I'm always like, oh, we care more about the water rating and less about the dust resistance rating because as long as it's there, it matters, right? For AirPods to get that, though, do you know how gross my AirPods are? <laughs> 
<laughs> Do you know how gross they are? You haven't seen them, that's why. Uh, they're gross. So I'm hopeful that this new like dust resistance rating makes a difference. That, I yeah. doubt. <laughs> is that, but is that gunk resistance or exactly? Dust resistance? See, yeah. <laughs> oh, wax resistance. <laughs> I got. Them. So, no, I get I you because I use them for working out and. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. I, I feel like I don't, maybe maybe there's not enough to warrant the new like third gen title, you know. But yeah. for for us, it felt like I feel like there could be a little bit more to allude to the the changes here. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, it did feel a little quiet for that. Like, I, it, it is, is a new past. product, but it's not. So yeah. What do you, what do you think? Like with all these announcements, right? I think we all know that we were all expect we all came in here pretty much knowing what to expect and there weren't too many surprises which is fine but we kind of saw everything and we got what we expected um any other things that kind of stood out to you that might have surprised you or not hmm? i mean i think i was most surprised by action button and double tap mm -hmm. honestly yeah those, I, those I, get leaked yeah for sure i, I stay away from rumors yeah these I know. days i don't I want to see everything for the first time. I agree with Can't you. Can't avoid the USB-C headline. So oh, I, knew, I, was, I, knew that I was going to say, were you surprised by USB-C? No, 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 not <laughs> just, at all. just want to double check. Um, the action button definitely took me, took me by surprise, though. Well, I guess I have a question. What do you all think about Apple 2030? Uh, I mean... Fine, as, Fine Woven was new to me, too. Just Oh, that's that that, yeah, that too. Yeah. I think as a company, Apple obviously has power in the consumer market, you know, has the power to shape consumer behavior and there's in of them being so large, like if they're gonna be like the measuring stick of how a tech company should operate in relationship to the environment, that that's a win for us. Whether, you know, I heard a lot of comments like, oh, why are they spending, you know, why are they spending so much time on the environment? You saw a lot of, you know, uh, dialogue good. around there, yeah. right? And if, you know, and part of that is we come from an audience who's like, just show me the new stuff. Mm. That's quite honestly all they care about. But, mm -hmm. you know, for a company that makes tens of millions, hundreds of millions of products are gonna actually make an impact doing that, I'm glad they're stepping up to that because they can they can push that narrative to other companies. I really and we've, we've seen other companies it. do it, right? Oh, yeah, I really applaud it. I've been telling everybody that like I did the drive to Cupertino this time. Mm. <laughs> and honestly, I, I know it's like, it's gonna sound cheesy, but like I really, like, I think we can all agree, like, we feel the impact yes. on the planet, and it is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it is time to, like, get our stuff together. Stuff together, yeah, <laughs> for lack of a better word. <laughs> I wanted you to say it. I no, was like, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, you know what? Maybe I what, what type of podcast is it? PG-13. <laughs> no, but I, I did, like, I could get emotional, like, thinking about it, and it's cool to see. I really, really applaud Apple for, like, taking actual initiative towards that. So Could you imagine if they didn't? The narrative would be so different. Mm. Like a company this large that produces this many products, the amount of e-waste that can be, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. attributed to this company, if they weren't making the the moves that they were, it could be a very, very different narrative. There's already been narrative about AirPods just just being, you know, when they're done, they're just throwing away all these hundreds of millions of plastic little earbuds. You know, there's already been talk about that. I, I think that. I didn't actually feel like it was too long in the keynote. Maybe just because we're inside the theater, mm -hmm. I didn't think of that about that until people started getting. Uh, until I saw comments on Twitter about it. I think. Um, go ahead. No, go, go for it. Go for it. Um, I have a long thought. So you want to go ahead? No, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I think to your point about all that chatter about AirPods and e-waste and all of that stuff. I think. Apple had to do something. I don't think this is out of the goodness of anyone's heart, really. I think the thing that surprised me uh, wasn't the length of time that he devoted to this topic and more the fact that Tim Cook could sort of act. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people can act with the right coaching. I'm not saying he's a bad actor either, but, you know. It's just like the way he stared down Mother Nature it was quite funny. I mean, I think it was nice that they like took the time out to have like the sketch. I'm sure it was fun for them to shoot. I think it is. Exactly. An, I think it's an important message as well that we all need to be aware of. I hope this does trickle out to other companies like Samsung. OnePlus used to send these huge boxes for their review units that I always hated. And also it's like this. I feel the tree in my house. It's dead and it, it just hurts. Right. Mm -hmm. And so like but you can't deny the fact that like Apple every year still wants you to buy new devices. And that's not necessarily every single year for every single consumer, but every year they're encouraging buying new devices. What would make a difference to me is if like one year you were like, we didn't make a new iPhone this year, so just don't buy anything. Like that would be like different. They would never. It's because consumerism, capitalism, yeah. it's a business, it's bottom line. So, yeah. you know, but. Hey, look, how about this? This year they did it for the iPad. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, no new, no new iPad. Yet. No new iPad Pro. Yet. Yeah. Have you seen the calendar? Yeah. No, we'll see. That's, that's <laughs> a, yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see new iPad Pros this year. How about that? I. I sure. So. All right. Well, do you want to make a bet? Ooh. While we're li- we're on camera, Ooh. make it official. Ooh. Okay. You know what? Um, I because I don't know for sure. I'm gonna say specifically the pros mm-hmm. that. I could be totally wrong here, and everyone's gonna be like, "That's a bad apple." But I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna say, sorry, yeah, I never do that. <laughs> it's really corny. <laughs> it's damn corny for me to do that in person. <laughs> oh. um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on a limb and say, no new iPads Pros for 2023. What, what's new? Are they gonna? Is it gonna make the deadline for this whole rumored M3? Maybe, maybe not. Do they need to rush it out? Now, if you know and no you're comment. already like no twiddling comment. your thumbs, <laughs> no you don't want to jump in? No comment, but I will take the bet. Okay, what, what's the bet? <laughs> a Vision Pro headset. Oh, okay. Oof. No, that's, that's, that's stupid. That's the only way I'll be getting one it's for like, myself. It's like Chick-fil-A or In-N-Out. That's all. <laughs> wow. Show. Shake Shack. Okay. Um, one thing I did want to point out, not just to be at least fair to other companies, I think Samsung has actually done a big, yes. they've done a really good job of at least not being carbon neutral, like committing to a 2030 type thing, but, you know, their packaging with their TVs, the their remote, um, their TV remotes mm-hmm. can be charged by both solar sunlight or indoor light. So no batteries on the remotes. I thought that was genius, quite honestly. Yeah. Um, so we know that obviously there are companies doing things. I just want to at least highlight, because when I actually thought about what other companies come to mind that are actually doing things to address this um, and have before Apple put this initiative out, I would say Samsung is definitely one of them. I'd give it to Sony, too. Oh, yeah. They're a lot of their packaging now for their electronics. Oh, yeah, yeah, or... yeah. A lot of, like, the green re- uh, recycled materials, even yeah. the plastics they use. I, right? think, there's, I, think, I think there's uh, no no more plastics in Correct. some of their in, products. Yeah, in their earbuds-type yeah. stuff yeah, and yeah, earphones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lots of companies are doing little things. I think yeah. hopefully they're all more aware of it yeah. um, overall. I, I've seen packaging just go down to be more paper for it and mm-hmm. more, like, uh, smaller in size, which is nice to yeah. see. That's a start. Yeah. You know, I, I recently learned that this topic actually really matters to Gen Z. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a big thing for them. Like it, it can help make their purchasing decision. Like they care that much. Like who they align with to buy things from. So yeah. that's uh, the reason, yeah. not the actual environment, <laughs> not the fact that our Earth, but Gen Z's oh, money. Okay. She's messing around, guys. Someone's, <laughs> some, you know, someone's gonna watch this and take you seriously, Sharon. Like you know what I mean? I'm just saying. Like I know you, but they don't know you. My Twitter handle is at Brian Tong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an ocean lover. Everyone knows I, lo- I want to keep this planet in- intact as much as I possibly can. Yeah. No, what I'm so. saying is I hope that Apple really has altruistic yeah. intentions as opposed to the money that Gen Z will bring. But it, I'm not sure I can fully believe all corporations. It's a combination, right? It is. It's part mm-hmm. of being a corporation, yeah. right? You know, I always um, try to be the best kind of corporation out there you know in terms of in that area mm-hmm, mm-hmm. at least can't knock them for doing it yeah net positive yeah y- guess what um i can only imagine the comments saying why are you guys talking about the environment so much <laughs> but see it's interesting but the way we you bring up this question and we're genuinely interested in talking about it yeah. and so it shows that we are aware of this and hopefully people that are watching and listening you know it makes you think you you just need people to start thinking about it a little differently Right. And actually caring about the next generation, like people with kids, like what's their world going to look like? Mm-hmm. Right? Absolutely. Right. And we want Gen Z to subscribe to Brian. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, your average consumer, Sherlin on Gadget, Crystal Laura, Crystal Laura. I mean, we, yeah, why not? And if you don't like us, that's cool too. Like, I don't know you. Yeah, I'm hard to like. <laughs> <laughs> if someone doesn't like me and I don't know them, I'm okay with that. Yeah, it's fair. That's what fair. if someone likes you and uh, someone doesn't, if someone knows you and then they don't like you? What about that? Oh, that's okay too. Yeah, we're having a therapy session. They, they might, they might not be you know, that cool of a person. We took a turn here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay Apple so, therapy. so okay, let's let's turn back to, you know, the keynote and the announcements. If I said you had not had to, but let's just play it this way. There's one product from this whole announcement that I'm saying you need to buy it, and there's one out of all the ones that were announced today. What would that product be? Pro Max. Uh, yeah, Pro Max. Yes. This one, yeah, this one. I'm gonna pick this one. Although I will say, like my favorite Apple product to date is the watches. Like I love, love the watch, but 
I have to pick one to phone. <laughs> okay, that was dumb. Yeah. Um, oh, you know, no, it wasn't can, dumb, Brian. Can we shout out the new colors of yeah, the I was iPhone 15? Say, yeah. Thank you. We gotta those, talk about those look Ooh, yeah, thank so you for good. The way they're goodness, infused Sarah. into the back glass, they look frosted, but matte. It's yes, gorgeous. It matte. looks so good. You know, I, in my video, I, I mentioned this like new look, and I was, it looks the same. I'm like, no, it really On camera, doesn't. I think it does look similarish, but in person, so? you can see the translucency of oh, it. Yeah. You can see the emphasis on the edges. It is different in person. That yeah. contoured edge makes a huge difference yeah. in the way this phone feels. It feels new. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. I have a better question. Here. <laughs> okay. This is this is what I really meant to get it because thank go, you for man. helping me distill this down. As we made it here. It's right. <laughs> what color right, exactly. would you buy for the Pro line the Pro and the standard line? So you get two color choices. Okay. What will it be? Ms. Crystal, I already I'm know it, start. so I'm, I'm ready to go. <laughs> uh, the natural titanium for the Pro and pink. Because I just I'm I love pink. So. Um, I'm definitely pink. going natural because I like it raw. Oh, I'm well, bored. I thought this was peachy. It is. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. For a co <laughs> for for color, <sighs> the green's kind of cool. I'll say green. Mm -hmm. I've always liked green. I like the green as well. I think I would have chosen that had he not said it. Oh, no, no, so no, I think I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I will get the green or the blue. I think those two are my. I'm uh, with you on the. Well, the, yeah, go on. Right, the light pink and the green. Those are two favorite. The matte black is nice too. Yeah. Nah, not a fan of that. I one. said one color, Crystal. Right. Oh, right. Sorry, I like them all. We like all the colors. <laughs> if I had to pick green or blue for the titanium one, like I hate all of them. You hate? Really? That's a strong word. Hate. My heart. It's so boring compared to the base 15. I just, I just wish there were a nicer. And We've I, always said right. Right, that, exactly. Like, well, give us a little flavor. Like, the, that's yeah. the interesting thing, right? Titanium, cool, lighter material. It literally sucked all the kind of like yeah. fun in life. Like, no purple. Mm -hmm. Like, what? No, yeah. yeah, I really hope that next year, like, there's a pop, like a yeah. true, like, I don't care what color it is. Give me like a bright neon yeah. of anything, and I'll get that. Yeah. But if I had to choose, I'll choose the blue mm. just because yeah, it's the it most interesting. Nice. The, the, nice. the, the, the raw, not to hate on yours, boring. The white, boring. The black, boring. So the blue. I like my, oh. I chose the blue for my video because I thought it was the most interesting, but then I just like, I just like. You like it raw. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay. I can't well, look at I'm you straight in the face when you say that to me. <laughs> I'm kind of with you. I'm, I'd say green and blue. Oh, we're besties. Green for 15 Pro. I mean, green for 15, blue for 15 Pro. You guys are pink haters. No, I was going to say <laughs> the pink looks off. I'm kidding. Get the pink as Barbie, right? Like, yeah, my Barbie You're hair. of the Barbie. Exactly. Yeah. That's Pacific funny. blue needs to come back. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Uh, last question before we wrap this up. The color that because they don't do pro colors you know they always do a mid-season color six months later mm. what color do you want that to be i'll go this way now teal they already have blue dude teal teal okay that's we knew so, your answer <laughs> i'm being so judge i'm looking at you with judgmental eyes teal. Like, let's go are you talking about wish list or prediction wish list wish list oh god this is hard. this is for you damn because i predict purple yeah. Oh, you, again. You I think? predict okay. because it didn't show up this year yet, yeah. and then I. Oh God, I can't. Oh, like a like a. I can't. What about like a Poo red? Brown. Poo red? brown. Oh, doo doo brown. Yeah, okay. thank you. Doo doo brown from sure, Charlotte. Yeah, <laughs> Cho chocolate, hot pink. <laughs> Ooh, hot pink. Just hot pink. Uh, what about you? Um, like iridescent. Oh, ooh. ooh. Sorry. Like, nice. You know, like that metallic-y, rainbow-y? Nice. I mean, we know they're never going to do that, but you know, we sometimes we're here at Why Apple. Not? We need to throw Why it out not? into the I universe you never know. to make it happen. It's beautiful. Teal. I forgot. No, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> Champagne. Stop. Stop <laughs> asmr in my <laughs> ear, Jenner. This is, I'm getting excited. <laughs> wow. Okay. We should probably end it on that note. Yeah. 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 Before we get out of hand. Okay. Okay. Good. Sure. So uh, thanks, everybody, for coming out and hanging out. You know, we always try and do this every time, and just uh, I love it. It's fun. It's I love you all, so this is great. Oh, thanks for having me. Thanks for having me, man. Okay, everybody, uh, follow them on their Instagram handles. You can look us up. It's it's pretty easy. It's it's called the internet. It'll be in the but, description. Uh, yeah, we'll see y'all next time. All right, bye guys. <laughs>